Money, how did that make you feel emotionally? I really miss my son. I do. I do want him in Atlanta with me. You know that with your mama and your sister, you have family down there, Derek. It's just me in Atlanta, just by myself. My brother not here. My mama already passed away. That's my child. That's all I got. Derek, why did you feel that D2 shouldn't move in with his mother? Well, because she really doesn't have time for him, you know. You can't say that because you're not down there with me. You don't know what I have time for. I don't care you ain't my daddy, so you can't tell me what to do. Uh, Anyway. Let me hear what he has to say, and then I would love to hear your side as well. Calm down. Calm down. So, baby daddy drama. Let's let's just hear. (laughs) We want everyone to have their chance. Okay, well, at this point in time, Derek is 11 years old. He's growing up, and he's growing up to be a man. And I feel that she can't teach him how to be a man. I can teach him how to be a man. Right, but you can still teach him being a man by being with me. Tonya got her kids and their dad and Bond and Nico's there to help teach the kids. They have she have a son. He's they're they're both co parents and they help raise him to be a man. Okay, and I, so, and I understand. And there's a lot that, of single we're not mothers talking out there. About that, Tony. We're talking yeah, about us. Raise me. Okay, but I'm just using that as example so you can get it through your head. Cause right now the way you make me always get feel is it, like it's it's just us that's going through that. Get and these two wouldn't head. be it, all right it, with it. It is us. It is right, us. but I'm just saying, we're not the only one going through it, and kids are raised just fine with their mother. Situation she's in now, I mean, she works. I mean, I work, you know, but she works more around the clock versus me. I can actually be there. I understand, you know, D2's with you, but I'm still his mother. How long has D2 been with Derek? Um, for a lot of years. For me, it's just discouraging because at first it was like, fix your attitude, money, get your stuff together, get stable. And I do all that, and then it's like, stuff still not happening the way I want it to happen. Yeah, I told you, get your stuff together, but I ain't say you can me. come live. Yes, that's why you I said, I'm going to say, that's, no, I that, told it her goes that. like with no, shoes, shoes, shoes. Yeah, if I say I'm getting myself no, I, together to get my son, I told why don't I just get myself together just, just to I get it together? I told you to get you. Hey, you needed to do it anyway. Right, but, but you, because I'm a mother and I'm responsible for my son to call me. I've been saying that since I moved to him. I'm getting my stuff together so D2 can come stay with me. So that's always been my agenda. And there you go. It's all about you. My agenda. I'm not going to sit here. That was on my agenda. I'm not going to sit here and say our agenda because we ain't together. What are you talking about? Damn right we not together. You're not going to handle me, Derek. You ain't going to handle them. See, that's what I'm saying. This is what I go through. If you're going well, really, 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 to get it, get it right. Okay, they're going to seek to get right. See, that's what been all night. So tell me how to get right. Yeah, first, first of all, what you just put in my mouth saying, I say he can come live with you. I never said. You did, Derek. Yes, you did. No, that was the whole purpose of me getting myself. I, I've been, that's been my main goal. I would like to jump in. Um, co-parenting with Vaughn, we had similar arguments about where Leo was going to be. We argued a lot. You know, I, it would be to the point where I was begging him for her. I understand your side, and I understand your side because I know Luna's father loves her. I know he loves her, and she loves him. She doesn't like to be without either one of us, and I'm sure he too hates being away from you and you. Derek, what do you think is the best situation for you two? The best situation that, that I think is to let him make his decision. So like just to clarify, if D2 said he wanted to live with money, you would say, no problem, feel free, you can go to Atlanta. It would crush me, but I mean, he's 11 years old. Hey, I can't hold my child back from something that he wants to be, especially when it comes to that. You talk to slick to me. You'll say I can see him whenever I want to, and then I'll try to arrange it, and then you just make the whole situation difficult. That's hard. You just want everything to be about money all the time. It's clear that we're not going to be working this out tonight. I think it's one of those agreeing to disagreeing kind of situations. Derek, thank you so much for joining us this evening. We really appreciate having you here. All right. Good night, Lex. Good night. Nice to meet you.